people are, are interested to ask questions for the sake of asking questions, oh look he asked my question, Jake answered my question. But more <laughs> important is, is that are people trying to do the practices that are being sort of described here, although they're very deep, maybe confused quite a few people until they meditate, contemplate, watch the videos again on uh, YouTube and uh, inshaAllah some people help to transcribe the, the articles in English. We need I think more transcribers for English so that they can put out a, a sort of immense amount of talks that are coming out on a daily basis, three times a week inshaAllah. So never stop trying to volunteer, you can volunteer for the food, you can help me for volunteering for transcribing in, in English and other languages and then they'll send that to the people whom are managing that inshaAllah. But a thousand ways to be of service inshaAllah. As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam Wa Rahmatullah Sayyidi, Ramadan really makes the impossible seem possible. How to get this Ramadan effect outside of Ramadan? Please forgive me for going off topic. How to… Ramadan has its own blessing. If you could do that outside of Ramadan, every day would be Ramadan. If you want to keep that same effect, fast every day. If you want to get near that effect, intermittently fast, that stop eating by 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night and in the day don't eat all day and eat again at 5 or 6. Close your, your, your window of eating throughout the day so that you intermittently are fasting, you're allowed to have coffee and water and nothing with sugar so that the body's not trying to digest. As a result of staying in a continuous state of intermittent fasting, one you are bothering the shaitan running within the blood system and then training yourself for Ramadan because you're getting used to the fact of not continuously sort of grazing all day long, inshaAllah. And that becomes also the secret of Ramadan is the immense amounts of energies and blessings. So we try to do all that we can, do all the goodness you can, be generous in the month of Ramadan because shaitan is going to hit you as soon as uh, Ramadan is over. As Salaamu Alaykum Wa Rahmatullahi Wa Barakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. Fear and poverty comes to the hearts of people and they stop uh, their generosity, they stop their practices, they stop everything to the extent that Ramadan opens. Because the shaitan is blocked, your shaitan only not other people's shaitan and Allah's dressing with Divine Grace, we find that we're able to do all these practices, give all these things and, and, and be the servant that we're truly supposed to be. So it's very reflective, it's very, it's very powerful for someone to reflect that, I wish every month was like Ramadan for me because that would be my true nature. Then we see how much the nafs immediately jumps when, when Ramadan tajalli is not there and everything again becomes restricted, everybody, everybody becomes frightened, everybody becomes not wanting to do the ibadah that they have to do. So it has its own reality inshaAllah, Allah give us more and more strength that uh, every month to be like uh, Ramadan inshaAllah. <coughs> As Salaamu Alaykum Sayyidi Wa Alaykum As Salaam Wa Rahmatullah How to fight that thought that comes to me that I'm not worthy of this way, please forgive me for my bad adab. 
Read the meditation book, see, these are energy and meditation practices. Nobody's worthy of the way. It's Allah's gift. So, to be thankful to Allah thankful to the practices, that's why everything is about thankful. That's why the introduction is, Ana abdukun ajisu da'ifu miskinu zalimu jahal. And when we go out, the other communities when they praise their ulama, they say, oh this next ulama is ulama, ulama, bigger ulama, the one whom is head of everything, head of everything, head of everything, head of everything and then he's going to address the people. <clears throat> pride and arrogance. And then they look at us and say, oh look he just said he's Abdul Ajis or Da'if or Muskeen or Zalim, why, why would we listen to this crazy guy? And say, that's the way that we were told is that say that you're nothing and if anyone chooses to listen then alhamdulillah good for them, they're fortunate. But I'm addressing myself and in front of Allah making sure that the Divine Presence knows I've said I'm nothing. So this is our way of, of not being anything and uh, not letting the nafs to enter into every action. But again getting the meditation book, getting the energy book, we have people abroad and they don't even have the hajj book. Why they don't have the hajj book? Why they didn't take it with them when they left? Everyone just wait, procrastinate, procrastinate. You enter somewhere and you go somewhere in life and you find that you don't have access to it, they won't ship it to you. Whatever the reason is but you should have had that as a part of your curriculum from your shaykh and put it aside for a day that you would read it or need it. But you know people are reactive not proactive. As Salaamu Alaikum Mulana Shaykh. From the realities of moving orbits from one to another without, without the help of Sultan, is it also related to moving from levels of nafs from nafs amara to nafs safiya? Everything is related but you want to move through your vibrations definitely. So your universe of amara, yeah you could describe those <clears throat> levels of your universes like layers of those nafs. So if there's the seven layers of the nafs, universes may be a thousand in between each of those seven for example. So yes the Amara universe for people may be very vast and they exist within that uh, universe, we'll call that the basement floor in which you know all the bad things in the basement, the food in the basement is bad, not basement sweet but you know the basement sewage of a building. You go down there and you see all the creatures in the pipes and the rats in the top in the bottom of the building and, and the people uh, sleeping out there or doing something bad, just an analogy, it, it, all the bad things are going to be happening down there. So your life is to get out. Get out of that, that uh, sewage and the, the, the dangerous areas. And that's why in those talks you should uh, go back to the talks on the seven levels of the nafs and that the need of a guide and how to leave that. And only the Divinely knowledges can come to lift somebody out of the amara, lawama, shawama, all of those levels have to be done through knowledges and a strong connection to the shaykh because you can't take yourself out of quicksand. If you should fall into quicksand and you think that you know you can tie yourself to something and, and get out, no, it's very difficult, rare. If Allah wants to He can do whatever Allah wants but the, the rule and not the exception, the rule is if you fall in quicksand you're in trouble. And that's why many people who sort of walk away think they got it, they got this, whatever. But there's a lot of barakah and it takes a long time for that barakah to be emptied out. And before you know it, it's emptied out and they realize they're in a deep quicksand. Because it's not something that is easy that you can do by yourself. <laughs> Especially nowadays with all the, the horrific difficulties that are coming. As 
Sadi, did you want to recite that dua in Manzoor? Yeah, we're finished for tonight? Okay, let's do a little bit of a salawat and then I'll come back to that. I'm gonna go. InshaAllah. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifum wa salamun al mursaleen walhamdulillahi rabbil in the Shafi Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ali sahbihi kiram wa la mashaykhina fi tariqatan ashbandiyatan aliyya wa sa'iru sadatana sadaqeena al-fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life our mobile food vans, we have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.